Alrighty, appreciate you tuning in to take a look at this little video here on the uh, Tipman Boss Hand Stitcher. Wanted one of these for years and I finally did it. I've sewed miles and miles of, of uh, uh, projects, leather projects using a hand awl and uh, I finally d uh, found a, a deal on a used one and bought it. But I had some trouble with it. I mean, a lot of trouble. I couldn't figure out what in the world was going on. Uh, so I thought I had bought a boat anchor like I've heard these things called. But it was just an adjustment and a part that wasn't right. So I sent it into them, and for about a hundred bucks, they uh, replaced a couple of parts and uh, adjusted everything and lubed everything because this is an old one. So, uh, but it's, I was still having problems. So what I'm going to do is show you what I did to make this thing work just perfectly now. All right, first thing, um, there's this. It looks like a netting, this plastic netting. I think you can get that. I forget where I got that. You get it on. Um, uh, Amazon or some kind of a, um, or a thread shop or something like that, but it's just a, a little netting. You see this on food in, in Walmart sometimes. But what this does is controls the thread to keep it from coming loose and falling down and getting underneath here. And when you're sewing along, uh, you, you don't notice it, and then all of a sudden it's tight. It binds up, and you can't figure out what's going on. You're halfway through a big project, and it's screwed up. So this works really well. A friend of mine showed me that. Then I shortened this uh, little thread guide, put a different one on it. This other one was really tall, and it, it, the thread was just not, I could control the thread. So that's the other thing I did. And then, doing it like they say, you, you, you come off the spool thread, you go in here, you come out the back of it, and then you come to this first um, uh, uh, disc here, I forget what you call it. And what they wanted you to do was to just, you come out and go around it, and then go to this next one and then up and around. Well, that was the problem. What was happening was the thread would, when I would pull it in here, so it was in between these two uh, discs here, uh, it would come out on this back side and then there was no tension on it. And I couldn't keep it from doing that. And so what I did was I went in just like they do, come in here, and in here, come out this side, and went around a full turn and then went to this one and run around a full turn and then put everything through like normal and boys that did it now uh, this thing doesn't skip stitches it doesn't do anything it's not supposed to do I even put a little black mark right here so I could see what what it was uh, doing as I advanced it and did a stitch it move and move and move and what would happen is that when I'd come down here uh, I could actually see the uh, uh, the thread uh, when it pops up a little bit. I don't really have an, uh, an example to show you, but it, when it, it when it is, it's either the bobbin or one of these things is too loose or too tight. You know, you'll have the thread coming up here, but not not properly like it's supposed to be. You know, not, none of that thread's trying to come up. It's in the middle. It locks stitches in the middle of the of the leather here, where it's supposed to, right in the middle instead of on each side. I think you know what I'm talking about, but. Um, what you can do now that I've come out through here, went around it a full turn and around this a full turn, and then back down. Now what you can do as you advance this, you can see that stitch. When it's trying to pull up too far or down too far, you can see it come up every time you tighten or loosen this uh, bob or uh, this uh, disc right here. I forget what you call the darn thing. And you tighten it a little bit and it goes and when you're watching the stitch go it'll go down a little bit the, the little part that's not supposed to come up you know where it goes down in there where it's trying to pull up if it's uh, one way or there you can just tighten it a quarter of a turn and you'll see it move it'll actually make an adjustment and so that fixed mine I mean I love this thing now I mean I did a I did a couple of uh, uh, knife sheaths I make knives and, and I uh, uh, make my sheaths for them too the leather sheaths and they are just beautiful now, and it saves me hours of hand stitching that I used to do. Okay, I'll just show you a couple of examples like I was talking about. I mean, now it is just just perfect. When I, when I come up to uh, stitch over from one uh, side to the other, it's just perfect. And it's, you can tell it's lock stitched. It goes all the way down, and it's just perfect. And when you turn it over, there's no stitches trying to pull up. They're loose or tight because you can adjust it. You can see it. And it just turned out just beautifully. 
So if you have any questions, uh, leave them uh, at uh, uh, below there. And uh, I now highly recommend this. At first, I just about sold it, or I was going to sell it to I get out of it and then buy a new one. But it was just an adjustment. So if you have any questions, put them down there and hit the subscribe button if you like this, and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, well, thank you very much for your time, and I hope this helps.